A man who fears suffering is already suffering from what he fears. My life has been full of terrible misfortunes most of which never happened. I quote others only in order the better to express myself. The truth of these days is not that which really is, but what every man persuades another man to believe. We must learn to endure what we cannot avoid. Our life is composed, like the harmony of the world, of contrary things, also of different tones, sweet and harsh, sharp and flat, soft and loud. If a musician liked only one kind, what would he have to say? The most certain sign of wisdom is cheerfulness. The value of life lies not in the length of days, but in the use we make of them. Whether you find satisfaction in life depends not on your tale of years, but on your will. He who establishes his argument by noise and command shows that his reason is weak. The greatest thing in the world is to know how to belong to oneself. There is no conversation more boring than the one where everybody agrees. Sometimes it is a good choice not to choose at all. Lying is a terrible vice, it testifies that one despises God, but fears men. Rejoice in the things that are present, all else is beyond thee. A man is not hurt so much by what happens, as by his opinion of what happens. Nothing fixes a thing so intensely in the memory as the wish to forget it. I know well what I am fleeing from but not what I am in search of. Other people do not see you at all, but guess at you by uncertain conjectures. Honesty is a question of right and wrong, not a matter of policy. Lend yourself to others, but give yourself to yourself. Don't discuss yourself, for you are bound to lose. If you belittle yourself, you are believed. If you praise yourself, you are disbelieved. Only the fools are certain and assured. The only thing certain is nothing is certain. When I quote others I do so in order to express my own ideas more clearly. Not being able to govern events, I govern myself. The pleasantest things in the world are pleasant thoughts, and the great art of life is to have as many of them as possible. It is good to rub and polish our brain against that of others. To compose our character is our duty, not to compose books, and to win, not battles and provinces, but order and tranquility in our conduct. Our great and glorious masterpiece is to live appropriately. All other things, ruling, hoarding, building, are only little appendages and props, at most. A good marriage would be between a blind wife and a deaf husband. Marriage is like a cage. One sees the birds outside desperate to get in, and those inside equally desperate to get out. No one but yourself knows whether you are cowardly and cruel, or loyal and devout. Others do not see you. They surmise you by uncertain conjectures. They perceive not so much your nature as your art. Stubborn and ardent clinging to one's opinion is the best proof of stupidity. In nine lifetimes, you'll never know as much about your cat as your cat knows about you. 
The pleasantest things in the world are pleasant thoughts, and the great art of life is to have as many of them as possible. There is no more expensive thing than a free gift. It takes strong ears indeed to hear ourselves judged frankly, and because there are few who can endure criticism without being stung by it, those who venture to criticize us perform a remarkable act of friendship. For it is a healthy love that will risk wounding or offending in order to profess her a benefit. A wise man never loses anything, if he has himself. Nothing is so firmly believed as what we least know.